I got into medicine from a little bit of a circuitous route. Um, I started in basic science and I started doing research. I was interested in pharmacology and how drugs work on the body and I really took a liking to some classes in cardiovascular pharmacology and physiology. I, you know, range from outpatients uh, who come in who are stable and, and doing well to uh, critically ill patients. Um, so I've done most of my training and I spend most of my inpatient clinical time in the intensive care unit. So I have patients who present with acute heart attacks, um, very decompensated heart failure, so extremely weak hearts, a um, lot of life-threatening conditions, um, critical illness. So my relationship becomes not just with my patients but their families. Um, often patients aren't able to speak with themselves so I need to form relationships with family members uh, and create alliances. Um, try and understand what patients' goals and objectives are, uh, and really walk them through what is typically a very difficult time. I've trained in a number of different places, but the amount of resource, the teamwork, the integration, um, really doing things at the cutting edge and really pushing the envelope. Um, the clinic becomes a special place where so many people who have been refused or denied, um, who haven't been able to access particular things for their health care, this sometimes becomes the last stop for them um, where they're really um, looking for an out and looking for a solution. Um, so it's a very special place in that um, I think almost anything is possible if we can offer it uh, and perform it safely, uh, then we'll try and figure out a way to do it.